hello welcome back to my channel my name is kemi and you're watching sincerely kso if it is your first time to this channel welcome if you are a returning subscriber welcome back my darlings we are going to be watching american psycho from 2000 2000 this movie is old old wow first time watching and um, I can see Batman on the cover, so I'm excited to see what he, the genre, Christian Bale, I think from Batman. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what else he he's ha he has under his belt. I've um I know his body of work with when I say body of work, it's only two. I know him as Batman, and I know him as the little boy in that Under the Sun. I think the setting sun is something where he was a young boy and his family they lived in Korea, I think. China and things just went um, crazy and he had to fend for himself and to survive something sun and that movie he was incredible in that even as a young boy oh I was so impressed so impressed and I think I've seen him somewhere else in another musical but I just can't place it right now what was it what was it what was it what was the musical yeah I see him in the musical I think yes about the newspaper the newspaper boys remember that movie where they where they had to fight for their own union that was an incredible one he's he's really good he's he's amazing so american psycho first time watching was requested by martin martin is a patron to this channel thank you so much for your patience thank you for being a patron thank you for requesting thank you just for just being part of this community and supporting me the way you have i appreciate you so much my love all right, so let's get into it. I know it's the month of October and clearly American Psycho from the title, I can expect the worst, the worst of the worst of the worst Psycho. What else? Psycho, crazy person. Yeah, I know somebody's going to die. I know some. Rare roasted partridge breast in raspberry coulis with a sorrel to me. It's Paul Allen. It's not Paul Allen. Lucky bastard. Lucky Jew bastard. Except some latkes. No, just the. Uh... My bad. A little something for you. Somebody on the rocks. You're a fucking ugly bitch. Oh, he has a split personality, and that was the one manifesting, talking to the mirror to seven. I believe in taking care of myself. I can do a thousand now. After I remove the ice pack, I then I apply an herb mint facial mint with little or no alcohol, because alcohol dries your face out. There is an idea of a Patrick Bateman. I simply am not there. Morning, the Robux class, sorry. Any messages? Ricky here. Anyone else? Spencer wants to meet for drinks at Flutie's Pier 7. I need reservations for three at Camel's at Arcadia at 8 o'clock on Thursday. Don't wear that outfit again. What? I didn't hear you. Feathered friends for 600. An oyster's on the half shell. I'm trying to listen to the... I have to get someone to videotape. Pause. I want to fit in. Because you want to fit in? What is wrong with this man? Okay, psycho. American psycho. Let me see what it is. He wants to fit in? Let me answer my question. Oh. <laughs> I'm almost completely indifferent as to whether Evelyn knows the fact that she's engaged to Louis Carruthers. Oh, well, what about the massacres in Sri Lanka? There are a lot more important problems than Sri Lanka. While also promoting equal rights for women and young people. For young people. Patrick. Hello. Hello. Bleachy? Oh, yeah. Are you trying to yeah, say bleachy? Bleachy in Santa Fe. These yeah, are very yeah, expensive sheets and I've real sin. I cannot yes. understand you! <laughs> Patrick? Patrick, I thought that was you. Hello. Does you talk to these people or something? I'm not being minutes. Hubert's that moved uptown, right? Next week. You know, I'm downtown. I don't know, quite often I'm at work now. all the well, time. But what about a Saturday? Next Saturday? Sure. Can't, I'm afraid. Of. Listen, you're dating Lewis. He's in Arizona. Pumpkin, you're dating an asshole. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin, you're dating the biggest mm -hmm. dinner. I can't. I'm 
thinking Dorcia. Dorcia. Um, yes, I know it's a little late, but is it possible to reserve a table for two at eight or eight thirty, perhaps? <laughs> well, Courtney, you should take some more lithium or have a diet coke. Are we here? Yeah. You're gonna have the peanut butter soup with smoked duck. It's not Dorcia. How on earth did you get a reservation there? Lucky, I guess. You look so soft. Your compliment was sufficient. Alan has mistaken me for this dickhead Marcus Halberstram. It's all right. Really? That's interesting. It's not a... Thank you, Baxter. Listen, Paul, squash. I got an 8.30 res at Dorcia. Is that a gram? Look at that. Picked them up from the printers yesterday. Eggshell with Romalian type. <laughs> I can't believe. Well, Raise lettering. Like Let's see Paul Allen's card. Tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. Something wrong? Jealousy? Envy? You want some uh, money? Uh, you're so hungry, why didn't you get a job? I lost my Al. Get a goddamn job, Al. You got a negative attitude. Al, please. You got Do you know that? <laughs> Al. I'm a cold out here. It's <laughs> So fine. So smooth. But not a single clear, identifiable emotion. I feel lethal. On the verge of frenzy. <laughs> Mistletoe alert! My ex, Miss Patrick. Snowball says, Merry Christmas, Patrick. Don't you? Don't you? Merry Christmas, Christmas. how you been? Workaholic, I suppose? I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Hamilton! We're going to Nell's. Limo's out front. Great party. Thanks. Patrick, why is he calling you Marcus? Marcus Halberstram for two at seven. Completely empty? I'm very sorry, sir. JMB straight and a Corona. This is a real beehive of activity, Halberstram. This place is hot. I could have gotten us a table. Nobody goes there anymore. Why would Ivana be a Texarkana? But they don't have to kill you. <laughs> I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Mm -hmm. I've got a tanning bed at home. You should look into it. Mm. Evelyn Williams. Evelyn! <laughs> Another martini, Paul. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Did you see the newspaper is sprawled out on the table, on the floor? He's going to kill him. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound. Oh, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. In 87, Huey released Listen to the Lyrics, but they should. Patrick? Patrick! Bateman. Where are you going? We're going to Nell. Jean-Paul Gaultier. There is a moment of sheer panic. It's time for Paul to take a little trip. Get back. Hasta la vista, babe. What is it? Patrick. It's only 10.30, I think he knows you're here. Now, John, old striped shirt calls for solid colored or... Listen, John, I've got to go. T. Boone Pickens just walked in. <sighs> no, I'm sorry, I should have made an appointment. I'm Donald Kimball. Hi. So, what's the, uh... I see, yeah. Uh, Paul's disappearance, yeah. Mm, no, I'm okay. Paul and ours? No. Mr. Kimball, a bottle uh, of no, a poly... No, really, I'm okay. It's no problem. I, uh, <laughs> I haven't heard. Just some preliminary questions that I need for my own files, okay? Shoot. What can you tell me about Paul Allen? I'm at a loss. Just give it. I hope I'm not being cross-examined here. You feel like that? Indochin, Nels, the Cornell Club, the New York Yacht Club. The... You had a yacht? Before Yale, if I remember correctly, St. Paul's. Listen, do you have any witnesses or fingerprints? Well, there's a message on his had a hard time getting actual verification. A Stephen Hughes... Had his apartment been burglarized? No, actually it hadn't. One day someone's walking around, going to work. Eerie. Really eerie. You'll have to excuse me, I have a lunch meeting with Cliff Huxtable. Thanks for your 
time, Mr. Bateman. I'm not supposed to. Come on, get in. Now, I really can't stress blonde enough. Blonde. My name's Paul Allen. You got that? <laughs> Christy, get out and dry off. You've arrived. How lovely. I'm going to call you Sabrina. I'm Paul Allen. Don't you want to know what I do? Well, actually, that's none of your business, Chris. I don't want you to get drunk, but, uh... I really didn't understand any of their work. I think invisible touch. At the same time, it deepens and enriches. You can practically hear every nuance of every instrument. Sabrina, why don't you uh, dance a little? Is the most moving pop song of the 1980s. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. In the air tonight and uh, against all odds. Sabrina, don't just stare at it, eat it. What? And I stress the word, artist. Don't touch the watch. Please, go, go. We're not through yet. I am, I am, I am. He beat them up. And who fucking cares? Well, let's just say hypothetically, okay? What if they had Keep don't Do fucking you know mouth shut? The only girls with good personalities who are women. Ed Gein, Maitre D'A Canal Bar? No. Sure. <laughs> what her head would look like on a stick. I want to get your opinion on something. I'm not impressed. Hey, Bateman, what's the matter? No shiatsu this morning? Touching me like that and drop. What is your... He's so jealous. He can't help himself. Oh, my God. Now you want to kill Lewis? What? God. Don't be okay. shy. You can't imagine how red stripe paisley on mommy type. No, 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 no. Patrick, really what out of it? this place. What? <laughs> what? Oh, God. <laughs> that, hey, Lewis, you don't know what God has done for you right now. Hey, 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 hey. Do you remember where you were the night of Paul's disappearance? I had a date with a girl named Veronica. That's not what I've got. You were with... Well, I could be wrong. Mm. But did you check the diary? I think we had dinner at Orso's. No, Pedal... No, Orso's. If you could try and pin down where you were... Here we Lewis in the new. I mean, I don't really like singers. Not a big music fan. Uh, lunch next week? I'll be there. Oh. Will you call me before East? Dinner at a river cafe. You never noticed. You're gonna marry Lewis. Isn't that special? If I don't see you before Easter, have a nice one, okay? Patrick? Gorbachev is not downstairs. Do you do? Murders and executions mostly. Do you like what? Murders and executions? In mergers and acquisitions. We don't like it. He said murders and executions. Yes. You think I'm dumb, you think all models are dumb. There's something sweet about you. Oh, please don't go home with me. That's her hair he was holding. Do you want a crossword? Yes, Patrick? Would you like to accompany me to dinner? Listen, where should we go? Anywhere you want. <laughs> I don't know, Patrick. I can't make this decision. Come on. Dorcia is where Jean wants to go. I don't know. No, we'll go in wherever you want to go. Dorcia is fine. Booked. Two at nine? Perfect. See you then. Why don't you meet me at my place at seven? 
What a wonderful view. Jeans. No need to lose any weight. You're kidding, right? right. What do you really want to do with your life? Just. I'm at a point in my please. life where there seems to be, but I'm. I don't know. I'm just so unsure. Please, 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 please leave her alone. She's just your secretary working. On. Oh my God. Do you feel fulfilled? I mean, did you know that uh, Ted Bundy's first dog, a collie? What's that? Duct tape. I need it for, uh... Make someone happy. What? No, put it in the carton. Make someone happy. Have you ever wanted to? Please, please. Please. I, I hope you're not out there with some little number you picked up because you're my Mr. B. Melania, she went to Sweetbriar and, um, and we're meeting at the Cornell Club, so I'll call you tomorrow morning, honey. Oh, sorry, I know you hate that. <laughs> Bye, Patrick. Bye, Mr. Big Time CEO. Was that Evelyn? Of course it was. You know, you're his assistant. You should know. Get up. I have no right to ask that. I know I have a tendency to get involved with unavailable men. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Don't forget you have a lunch date tomorrow with Donald Kimball at Smith & Walensky's. Hey. Wow. 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 Wow, this guy doesn't have a trigger. There's no trigger. Like you don't have to do anything to him for him to want to hurt you. What did this secretary do? His fingers just start speaking. About what you did? Paul, that night. According to his date book, and this was verified by his secretary. Well, does Marcus have an alibi? Yes. <sighs> Where was Marcus? He wasn't with Paul Allen. Craig McDermott, Frederick Dibble, Harry Newman, George Butner, and... It wanted Paul Allen to come. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he'll turn up sooner or later. Isn't that right, Patrick? And that's exactly what happened. For no reason. For no reason. Just envy. Because the guy was talking about getting a, something at Sorbet, at Odorcia, and... Christy. I'm not so sure about this. I had to... Just come in the limo and talk to me for a minute. No, don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He'll drug you. Where have you been? Well, I actually might need a little search. What is that? Be alive. The future holds. No, please. I know you need to uh -huh. go. Joining us in my new apartment shortly. No. I think I met you at a surf bar, didn't I? With spice. Oh, it's not that nice. Oh, God, at the Kentucky Derby in 85. I like right. your hair, though. But no. No. France. Where's your <laughs> phone? I've got to call Harley. Where do you summer? Southampton? He's a goddamn drug dealer. These are his peak hours. Who? Paul Allen. I want the number, idiot. So anyway, I'm at Paul Norman's, and I'll try you again later. And if I don't see you at Canal Bar tomorrow night, I'm gonna stick my hairdresser on you. Here. Or Halcyon. Oof, I would take a Halcyon. It's totally disease-free. She's not drinking. <laughs> She's not drinking. Let's not get lewd. I'm in no mood for a lewd conversation. Come on, Lawrence, for one thing. Those are Sarah Lawrence guys, Patrick. Whitney Houston's debut LP, called simply... <laughs> what have I won? <laughs> it's our it's universal message in this world we live in to empathize with others. Good girl. I think, um, Evelyn, that, uh, cannot be corrected, but, uh, I have no other way to fulfill my needs. Now, are we having coffee? I'm fucking serious. Oh, it's something. I know that your friends are my friends, and, uh... You're really serious, aren't you? Yes, I am. And human? No. I'm in, I'm in touch with humanity. <laughs> I'm leaving. 
assess the situation and... Girl, so you don't know what God saved you. By the time the news breaks, God, you, you would thank your God. Hey! That the desire to kill you didn't come upon him in that moment, in that restaurant. And he decided to break up with you. Hi! You don't know what the Lord has done. Just raise your hand as giving thanks. What? Where's your daddy and your mommy? Who is giving you all this money that you're spending? No, kitty kitty doesn't want you. To hell with you. Bite him, kitty. Give me a straight point. Oh my God. What are you doing? Stop that. Did he really just shoot that woman there? Because I don't know what is happening and what is not happening. I'm. Did he really shoot that woman there? Who is helping him clean up all the body? That one that he did, the prostitute that almost escaped. Get on the ground! But the midnight oil, Mr. Smith. Hey, now don't forget to sign in. Mr. Smith, why did I want to call you Mr. Smith? Your name is Paul ba Patrick Bates, Bates man. Are you guys going to different places, different identities? It's Bateman, Patrick Bateman. You're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. Some escort girls in an apartment uptown. Uh, some homeless people, maybe five or ten. Um, an NYU girl I met in Central. <laughs> I had to. I killed Paul Allen with an axe in the face. Thing out here. I guess I've killed maybe uh, some of the girls that see the tapes. I even um. I then tried to cook a little. I had to kill a lot of people and um. I mean, I guess I'm a pretty sick guy. Do you get back tomorrow? Huh? Keep your eyes open because you might come kill me because you're giving me all this information. What does this mean? Homeless people. Nobody was off the table. I wish that prostitute escaped. I wish. I really wish she did. She ran for her life. When the things started getting freaky, she got out of something and, and she started saying, ah, she was just in the nick of time. Oh my god. Don't tell me you're coming to your lawyer's apartment to wipe the tape clean because you regret. What's happening? Paul Allen's place. Isn't he left? You saw the ad in the Times? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In the Times. There was no ad in the Times. Mm -hmm. I want to know what happened here. Don't make any trouble, please. And this is a time where there were no cell phones to take a quick picture that could take a picture of the guy as he's leaving. Patrick Bateman's office. I'm... Craig McDermott called. He wants to meet you, David. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Patrick? What's wrong? Just say no! I'm fucking sad! <laughs> Jesus! What is your salary, girl? Call the police, girl. What do you see? This table for three. Bateman, you're a little wild-eyed, rough day. Why don't you just try 150 Wooster? Let's get a res. Keep your shirt on. Maybe lose the suspenders. <laughs> Give me the phone, I'll do it. I'll call you back. Face that it, the voice Japanese message will... to your lawyer. Who was it that called? Jesus, yes! That was hilarious. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, naturally. Bateman killing Alan and the escort girls. That's fabulous. That's rich. What exactly do you mean? The message you left. It was a joke. He thinks it was a joke. It's good to see you. Is that Edward Towers? Bring spineless lightweight. They must be going. <laughs> Wait. Um, 
I'm Patrick Bateman. I'm not Davis. I'm Patrick Bateman. Listen very, very carefully. Why don't you know who he is? Does he change his identity like crazy? That's why that man called him Davis at the door. The doorman that he shot. He has several identities. But that's simply not possible. Because? And I don't find this funny anymore. Because I had dinner with Paul Allen twice in London. And I believe there's he now didn't even the know who this one was. That we can accomplish well. <laughs> I'm just a happy camper. This moronic idea was adored, right, Beers? And I do not hope for a better world for anyone. This confession has meant nothing. No, please. What does this mean? I have to read the book then. No, 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 no. This is not good enough for me. What? What? Please, no. No, no, no. No, no. You can't tell me he got away with this. You cannot tell me he got away with this. Let me tell you something. Girls, whenever you go out on dates, listen, when a psycho is psycho, is, they're, they're very smart. They're very, very smart. These serial killers, they are very smart. Very smart, very smart, very smart. So the only thing I can say is that when someone, these are protective things that my, I was told how, how to protect myself when I was growing up and going out. If they don't drink, don't drink. If they don't eat, don't eat. Whatever they do, then you can do. So if someone takes you out, that is number one. Secondly, never go out on a first date and go to someone's house. That is the crazy. I don't even know where girls learn to do those things. I don't even know. First of all, are you a sumo wrestler? Do you have power? Are you have do you have some sort of Iron Man hidden talent that you can just snap on someone and punch out a guy? For as long as you know you cannot physically protect yourself from a man, there is no reason why you should want to be alone with him. On the first in the first 12 months, I'm sorry, let's give it at least 12 months. Let's give it six months. The serial killer will get tired and be like, I beg, take your virginity and go. The serial killer, I, you know what I mean? Why would I ever, even when I was dating my husband, go away privately so that you can overpower me? When did you, when did girls start trusting men like this? I don't care who you are. I don't care what you, listen, if you want to take me out, you take me out to a public place. You want a little privacy to do what? We can kiss in public if you want us to kiss. The privacy comes because you want to do intimate things with me, right? Okay. So, 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 <laughs> until I trust you, you're not taking me to your house. You're not taking me nowhere that I can't defend myself. I am I am proud to say that when I was going out on dates, I had a secret weapon somewhere, somewhere. Whether it was in my wig or in my purse or in my anything. If I don't know you, I don't know you. Especially people that you're meeting for the first time, whose parents you don't know. Like even, I'm using myself as an example. When I began, decided to date my husband, we already knew his family. We knew his aunties, his uncles. We knew, when I was going out, I wasn't just telling my mom, oh, I'm going out with some guy, Mr. A. I'm saying, I'm going out with so, 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 and so, the son of so, 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 and so, his sister went, like when he came even to pick me, my mom's like asking him questions. So you're the children of, oh yeah. Because if I went missing, mommy knew who to call. Hello, where is my daughter? What, I, what is? What are you doing? What is happening out in the dating sphere? What is going on? You just go out with people. My table is shaking. I'm shaking. You just go out with people. You don't know them. You don't have any rapport with these people. You don't know their background. What he has a good job. He has a good office. He has a good apartment. Of all the women, even that, that everybody was just silly. He got them cheap. I, I, I was rooting for the, I'm like, this guy has beaten you before. He beat you bloody. He didn't just beat you nice and so he, you were bleeding as you were walking out of his apartment. You said your friend told you you will need a doctor and you went back for what? For a thousand dollars. Only the living can spend money. You have to be alive to enjoy the money, girl. The guy had nothing. Nothing was his trigger. What was happening in that last moment? His thing, he was just getting happy. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Even he was saying things. Did you see what he said? Psychosis. He, the, the, the money vending machine was telling him. I said the vending machine. The ATM machine was telling him. 
feed me the cat you too you wanted to feed the cat into why listen girls and even men too because you know the men men not all men are i don't know I, men should be protected too because who knows there might be some crazy women thinking that oh the man will think i'm delicate no i've even seen something on instagram remember those two girls that went they drugged the guy they got their boyfriends to beat him up and they robbed him blind men should be careful too uh -uh. i want to know what happened this is oh on to the next <laughs>